Welcome back to our channel. Today we will tell you how petrol and diesel trade works and why Indian citizens are paying so much for this. So before starting, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for updates. Oil is found in underground reserves around the world. Each region's oil is slightly different to another. To accommodate for these variations, there are multiple global marketplaces or benchmarks that set the price for each crude, unrefined oil. There are many benchmarks that are used as reference prices for crude oil. The main ones are Brent, WTI, and Dubai, Oman. Brent, EB. Brent or Brent crude covers roughly 66% of all oil contracts. This oil is low in sulfur, classifying it as light or sweet, making it ideal for the production of gasoline and diesel. In addition, much of this is extracted from the North Sea from rigs that are already in the water, making it easy to ship. Crude oil, CL, also referred to as WTI, is very sweet, making it ideal for gasoline refining, and is extracted within the United States. It is mostly extracted from land wells, so it is more expensive to export. Dubai, Oman. The main purchase point for Asia, this oil is sour, meaning it is high in sulfur and a lower grade of crude oil than what is found elsewhere. It is still highly sought after and a key benchmark. Oil CFDs offer traders an opportunity to not only trade on specific benchmarks, such as Brent and WTI, but also presents opportunities to trade on oil's most in-demand products, which themselves are globally consumed commodities. Some of them are Gasoline, RB, used to power cars and other combustion engines. Low sulfur gasol, G, diesel that is delivered to ports in the era. These ports include Amsterdam, Rotterdam, and Antwerp, including Flushing and Ghent. Heating oil, HO, priced in cents per gallon at the New York Harbor, heating oil is refined from crude oil and used to heat homes. Going long or short is one of the more familiar features to CFD traders who want to take advantage of market volatility, without needing to purchase the underlying oil asset. What's more, positions can be opened or closed 23 hours a day, excluding weekends, without needing to worry about the maintenance or management of a live contract. While futures typically expire at the end of the month, Plus 500 offers its traders an automatic rollover service so they can keep contracts open without worrying about expiration dates. With rollover, contracts remain open and the value is transferred to new contracts of the same value at the time of rolling over. The economic calendar is a powerful tool to stay informed of upcoming OPEC meetings, U.S. petroleum reports, and other planned events that may influence this commodity. Going long or short on a position comes with the potential for profit as well as loss. In order to mitigate risk, traders should consider taking advantage of close at profit, close at loss, and other key features. Indians pay four times for a liter of petrol compared to its crude price, which is only around a liter of packaged drinking water. Taxes, commissions and other charges levied on the end-user ensure that fuel rates do not go down significantly in India even when international crude oil prices are low. Ideally, retail prices of petrol and diesel in the domestic market are linked to global crude prices. It means if crude prices drop in the international market, then prices in retail should come down too. But this is not the case most of the time. On the contrary, despite the 13% drop in international crude rates, Indians paid 13% higher prices from January 2020 to January 2021. In January 2020, before the COVID-19 lockdown, crude oil price was around 29 rupees per liter, while end users paid rupees 78 for a liter of petrol. Even after international crude prices nosedived in February, an Indian consumer still paid nearly five times higher, rupees 72.93 per liter, than the crude oil price, rupees 15.60 per liter. After the gradual easing of the lockdown, crude oil price was revived to rupees 25 a liter in January this year, but consumers ended up paying rupees 87.57 per liter, more than three times higher. This is because every time crude prices fall, the government imposes fresh taxes. On May 5, 2020, when crude prices halved to rupees 14.75 from 28 rupees and 84 paise per liter, the government hiked excise duty by a record rupees 10 per liter on petrol and rupees 13 per liter on diesel to garner additional revenue of 1.6 lakh rupees crore. This was the second hike within a period of three months. 
Tax collection dropped in every sector during the pandemic, except fuel. The government collected a record 48% more tax as excise duty on petrol and diesel from end-users from April to November 2020 compared to the same period in 2019. The total tax collected was Rs 1, 96,342 crore, up from Rs 1, 32,899 crore, according to data from the Controller General of Accounts CGA. Nearly 160 different types of crude oil are traded in the global market with variation in viscosity, density, weight, fluidity and volatility. Crude oil is known by their geographical identities such as Brent crude, Oman crude, Dubai crude, Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, Reference Basket, West Texas Intermediate, WTI. The Indian basket of the crude price is a weighted average price of Brent, Oman and Dubai. India imports nearly 80% of its crude oil requirements from abroad. Crude oil needs to be refined by refineries and oil marketing companies OMCs. In the domestic market, fuel price is partly shaped by actual supply and demand, and mostly by taxation and dealer commission. So that's it for today. What do you think of our video? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching this video and would like to hear more from us, Please subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications before you go. Thank you so much for watching us.